Oops. Mm, it's very meaty. It smells like a mushroom and um just feel kind of bad because um when I opened it up there was a small ladybug living on the outer edge. I got rid of that part of the mushroom. I'm not gonna eat that part. But um yeah. And uh I don't think it was a ladybug, it was like something like a ladybug. I'll show it to you right now. But I think it died because um I was washing the mushroom when this happened and uh it uh got exposed to the water. The small little insect did and died. Oh, there's my mushroom. Very colorful, very pretty. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but the little bug is in there. Wow, that's a crazy view, right? It was like a ladybug, but he just OD'd on me at, because I guess I exposed him to water. I tried to save him and put him in this jar, but um, looks like he's dead. I um, had a really, really cool setting on my camera. It kind of looks at things up close. So you can kind of see the texture of the mushroom. Difference, this, uh, what, what's different about this mushroom from other mushrooms is that it doesn't have any gills. It's very meaty and it's supposed to be good, I guess. Uh, hence the name Chicken of the Woods, therefore I believe it will taste like chicken. But we'll see. I'm getting ready to cook it. There's my pan, my olive oil, and other ingredients. Okay, this is where the... This is where the magic's gonna happen. So, uh, I need to move my uh, cutting board away from the fire because it's kind of melting. But here it goes, right? Go, mushroom, go! Nice little olive oil. Love olive oil. Let's see. What spices? Oh, pepper. Pepper tastes good on everything. Well, just about everything. Mushrooms, it does. Um, salt. It's a mushroom, right? You need to put some salt on it. And let's see what else I can find. A little bit of garlic powder. I always overdo this one. Ooh, perfect. I need a little more olive oil because ooh, it smells good. And again, everything with olive oil, pepper, and salt smells good, right? Mm. Mm, I think it needs more olive oil. It's kind of dry. When I, mean, I first like sighted this mushroom at school while I was walking to class, um, it was bright yellow. Um, now it's not as bright as it used to be, but it should still be good because it didn't turn brown yet. And more olive oil. Okay, I'll let you see the end product. Oh, by the way, I found my tripod. I'm so happy. Right? It's better view. Okay, that's the end product. I will be eating it. It doesn't look too bad, right? Looks pretty. Yeah, that was kind of quick. I just <coughs> went hunting for a mushroom, picked it up at school, cooked it, and I'm about to eat it. There's the mushroom, so y'all can see mushroom. Oh, by the way, got my bottle of wine. It's my wine. It tastes like chicken. It's not bad. Oh, oh, <laughs> you didn't see that. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna eat a lot because um, I didn't research on the type of tree I got it from. Even though I know it wasn't a poisonous tree, I know it's not gonna kill me. So, I'll just eat it a little bit. See, there's mushroom. It's really good. It really does taste like chicken. You see this mushroom growing on the tree? There is no poisonous mushrooms of this kind. The only thing that can affect it is uh, the tree that it's growing on. Cheers. Cheers.